Times are tough for animal clinics, shelters, and vets right now. Patty Spittler brought to you here by Pet Pals TV, along with Tom Dock from Noah's Animal Hospital. So you guys are celebrating a big anniversary, right? We are. I'm ec ecstatic about this and really honored that I could be here to talk about it. Noah's is celebrating 40 years of helping pets and their people here in central Indiana. That's amazing. That's 40 amazing. years. Because most of clinics are owned by big companies. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the way things are going now. Yeah. So this for Dr. Mike Thomas, this is an amazing achievement. Absolutely. I mean, he started buying Glass Animal Hospital back in 1981. He had three employees. He had a bookkeeper receptionist. He had one of the very first credentialed technicians in the United States, and he had a kennel kid named Mary. We now have over 300 employees, wow. 35 to 40 veterinarians, and Mary is now Dr. Mary Grabo, our chief medical officer. Oh, what so, a full circle story yeah. there. I think we have some pictures too oh. of yeah. Dr. Mike Thomas when he was starting to do this 40 years ago was just absolutely amazing. And the first Noah's was on... 56 and Emerson, yes, so on northeast side of town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now we have six general practices. We've got two practices that are focused with rescues and shelters and community outreach. Mm. We've got two emergency hospitals. And that original practice, the 56 and Emerson, is not only a general practice, practice doing vaccines and spays and neuters, it's also 24 hours. So yes. there's three options in the middle of the night. Which is a huge need at times. Oh, yeah. Pets really have emergencies yeah. too. Um, you know, we started the segment by saying it is a bit of a tough time for some vets. Very tough. Uh, tell Very us tough. a bit, uh, the pandemic has had such an impact on vets, vet techs, mm -hmm. and then also people adopted up those animals, but yeah. some can't take care of them now. Yeah, and so we have what we call pandemic puppies, you know, that they don't know how to act when they're the veterinarian. Mm -hmm. But when we look at staffing, and you, you've already mentioned this, Patty, there's so many corporates, uh, entities that now own veterinary hospitals. 25% of veterinary hospitals are now wow. owned by corporate. Um, it's hard to compete for staff. It's hard to compete for veterinarians. And then you've got a whole segment of veterinarians who are retiring or yes. closed because of COVID. I can think of two on the south side where I live that closed just shut down completely yeah. on that. And so that's going to impact where pet owners, pet lovers can mm -hmm. take their pets. And so it has been challenging. And of course, like every business, we're all dealing with short tempers and lack of mm -hmm. patience and things like that. So just be trying kind, to be kind. Be, yeah. kind, be kind, be kind, be patient. And it's it's not it's not easy. It's also, and I, I mean, this is just something, the suicide rate for vets is huge. Well, I it's a little no higher. Yeah, it's, it's higher, than, it's higher I mean, than the general population, like 1.6 for males and 2.5 for females, wow. I think. Um, so yeah, we deal with that because again, you're dealing with a situation where high emotions, um, it's discretionary income that people are using. So mm -hmm. there's not, you know, there, there is pet insurance. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of times people don't have it or it's not, it. you know, they can't use it at that point in time. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of emotions that go on with that. So again, try to be kind. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think that's a good message just in general. Try to be kind. Yeah. Um, are you guys also doing some kindness in this world. Mm -hmm. You have um, organizations that you help. Talk about right. that. Yeah, so we've got several things that we're doing. One, we work with 60 different rescue organizations and shelters across central Indiana. We started the Domestic Animal Response Team, which Wish TV did a story on a couple years mm -hmm. ago, which we help animals that are in house fires and accidents. So I am our IFD, well, the first responders will bring them to us. We partner with Indy Cares to make sure those pets are taken care of until the owners can take ownership of them again. Oh, wow. And okay. we have our own nonprofit, 501c3, Anna's Pet Care Fund. Yep that helps pets in the middle of the night when you've got that gap in coverage. So oh. yeah, you've got that young dog with a broken leg and the people don't have finances. Yes. This gives them time to work out a situation. And so we're really proud of how that has been going. How can people help you guys help these organizations? Oh my goodness, any of the hospitals <laughs> when you stop in. And again, you know, I think one of the things, Patty, you and I were talking about is, Noah's is family and locally owned, just like Wish TV, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. So there being you go. part of that community. So come in, you know, come to the practice. There's donation boxes there if you want to help out that pet. Refer people to the <laughs> Noah's hospitals. Um, you know, we are busy. I won't lie to you. It's hard to get an appointment sometimes, mm -hmm. but just be patient. Yes. Um, talk to your friends, you know, and, and reach out to us. You can reach out to me through Pet Pals TV, through NoahsHospitals.com. Uh, yep, yep, I'm yep. happy to try to answer questions and guide people. I always say keep calm and contact Tom. And you can, <laughs> yeah. you can find Tom at PetPalsTV.com and yep. he will answer your questions as, as well. So he's very good at that. Uh, amazing. Keep mm -hmm. calm and, and contact, contact Tom. Tom. Okay. Yeah. And of course, you can watch Pet Pals TV on Saturdays at 1030 right here on Wish TV. You can also go to PetPalsTV.com and watch Great Day TV. Uh, 
right before that, 10 o'clock, all here on Wish TV. And then, uh, Patty, I think you're doing some book signing today, too. I think we oh, want to throw in that plug before yes. we go. Books, book signing uh, uh, downtown. Uh, there's going to be like 70, di 60 different authors, and I'm going to be signing my book. So come. And a portion of the proceeds goes to rescues and shelters and those helping. I don't get any money. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.